Welcome to another edition of Knife Show Sunday. Pay no attention to the knives in the backgrounds because that is just teasers for upcoming videos. Okay, today we're going to be looking at this vintage Sabre Japan uh, Hawkbill knife. This is a uh, beautiful old knife. Love these dark walnut scales. Oiled them a couple times today already. This oil was really, or not the oil, but the uh, walnut was really dry. I mean, it is really soaking up this oil. This is the second oil and I've gave it. And, uh, I'll probably have to do it again before the day's over with. Check out that grain. Side's a little darker. Almost looks like an ebony. But I'm pretty sure that's walnut. You can see without even opening this thing up, it's got a nice carbon steel blade. Um, Y'all know I like my carbon steel and my fixed blade and pocket knives. As you can see, the blade, Sabre Japan. Solid old knife. Okay, I bought this knife probably a year ago, last spring if I'm not mistaken, so right at a year. And I bought it as a knife lot. Guy had three or four of these in his in a yard sale, and uh, I think I offered him uh, twenty dollars for the three. Might have been three. I offered him twenty dollars for the three. He took took it, and uh, this one was in the best shape, so I kept it for my personal collection. Sold the other two for ten dollars a piece and uh so it's like getting a free knife hey you can't beat that okay the fit and finish on these is not perfect you can see some small gaps between the spring and the liners uh, the pins kind of sharp you can feel them just rub your fingers across them that one's flush but these two recess a little bit both sides uh, M one's the only one that's really that's really flush down in there. But this is a uh, this knife was meant to be a tool. I mean, it, it wasn't meant for looks, so I mean, it doesn't have to be all fit and finish. I mean, it, it, I think this uh, hot wheel design was designed for pruning, if I'm not mistaken, and. Uh, I mean, it was meant to be a tool, and uh, it is a tool. It's a good tool. As a matter of fact, I used it today. We had a late frost that got my rose bush and uh, burned up uh, several of the leaves on it. So uh, I did use this today for uh, pruning the uh, the burnt branches off the rose bush. Like I said it's it was designed to be a tool, and it is. I mean, it's a good tool. It worked good for its purpose. I had no trouble pruning the uh, the limbs off the rose bush so uh, it done its job now, this thing has got one heck of a spring in it got a good half stop a really good snap open yeah, I kind of caught it but it does have a uh, really good snap closed so I mean this spring still got plenty of life if left in it I don't think this thing has been used a whole lot it's just I got a good patina from age I mean I can tell it's been sharpened in the past but it doesn't have a whole lot of use on it get a measurement on this thing so I've been carrying this in my pocket this morning 
and uh, it's not a real heavy knife and it's comfortable to carry so I think I'll start throwing in my pocket on the days that I cut grass and I can use it for pruning out here in the yard but as you can see this is um, like an eighth of an inch being four inches so not real long Cutting edge on that blade looks like is uh, three and an eighth. In, I'm sorry, two and an eighth inches. And like an eighth of an inch being seven inches long on the open position. All right. Y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.